hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and today we will discuss about law of conservation of momentum before we proceed we need to understand about what is momentum momentum is a vector quantity it only depends upon mass of the body and velocity it is moving let us consider an isolated system in which there is no external force applied on that system and uh, in this case we consider that there are two balls m1 having let us consider a case in which two balls are present one ball m1 having velocity v1 is moving in a straight line having same direction with ball m2 or in the velocity v2 in the same direction with m1 this is the case or this is the condition before collision and after some time these two balls collide with each other and exert or feel a force on one another m2 feel a force of f dash uh, m2 feel a force of f in one direction and m1 feel a force of f1 prime in other direction the magnitude of these two forces is same but in opposite direction this is the condition at the time of collision and uh, after collision uh, the velocity of m1 is v1 prime and velocity of m2 ball is v2 prime this is condition of after collision and we need to prove that the momentum before collision and momentum after collision is constant now we know the expression of change in momentum which is delta p is equal to f cross t so let us solve this expression for ball 1 for ball having mass m1 then this expression will be f cross t is equal to this is the change in momentum we will write like final momentum minus initial momentum so in this case final momentum will be m1 v1 prime minus m1 v1 because this expression is after collision and this expression is before collision f cross t we can say that this is expression 1 and we will solve this expression for ball m2 m2 and this expression will be uh, f cross t f prime cross t is equal to m2 v2 prime minus m1 v1 this is expression 2 and <coughs> we will equate these two expressions in order to find out the relationship between law of conservation of momentum and we will solve in this case we will add this uh, left side of the equation expression 1 and left side of the expression 2 f cross t plus f prime cross t is equal to <coughs> m1 v1 prime prime minus m1 v1 then plus plus this expression m2 v2 prime minus m1 v1 so in this case you can say that this t is common between these two expressions and f plus f prime multiplied by t is equal to <coughs> m1 v1 prime minus m1 v1 and we will add or we will to get we will get together these two positive terms m1 v1 prime plus m2 v2 prime this terminology and this terminology and minus bracket m1 v1 and plus m2 v2 because minus is taken common then this term will be plus 
and we know that in the in the isolated system we made one M1 and M2 and then the at the time of collision this ball exerted a force of F and this ball exerted a force of F prime. It means that it means that the magnitude of force F and magnitude of force F prime is same but in opposite direction it means that the these balls have or these balls have ability to nullify each other it means it will become zero multiplied by t is equal to m1 v1 prime plus m2 v2 prime minus m1 v1 plus m2 v2 and you can say like this zero is equal to this is a final momentum of ball 1 this is the final momentum of ball 2 total momentum after collision momentum after collision minus total momentum before collision momentum before collision we will uh, replace this terminology to the left side then it will become positive m1 v1 plus m2 v2 is equal to m1 v1 prime plus m2 v2 prime you can see that this is the total momentum before collision of two balls is equal to total momentum after collision of two balls this is proof of law of conservation momentum and it can be applied anywhere in the world. It means that total change in momentum is zero. Up till now we have understood about the law of conservation of momentum. Before that we we'll discuss about momentum. And uh, this is a final terminology and this is a finish. And in the next video, we will understand about some other things related to momentum and this chapter. If you like our video, you can subscribe our channel and like this. And in the next video, we will see each other. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.